Hi, I'm Adrian Gostick. And I'm Chester Elton. You know, Adrian, we came in a box. How cool is that? Open it up, there we are. Yeah, but it's more than just us. This is Orangeification in a Box. It's the short, easy roadmap to help you begin orangifying your teams. So that you and your team can be a breakthrough team, like Apple, the Blue Angels, or Thomas Edison's team that created the light bulb. It's interesting because in our research and extensive interviews, we focused on finding the key elements that separated regular teams from game-changing teams. Adrian, these boxes don't come with new team members, do they? No. <laughs> Although you might think that breakthrough teams are only comprised of superhumans, that's just not the case. Instead, breakthrough teams adhere to super practices. It's stuff all of us can do, even you. <laughs> that's right. But here's what you need to remember. Breakthrough teams possess a revolutionary mindset where efforts are focused on creating positive transformations and superior results. Each member demonstrates personal competencies while sharing this unified cause. So pick a team, any team. Pick your favorite sports team, your favorite political team, your favorite television show cast. How about the Three Musketeers or the Three Little Pigs or the Three Stooges? What's with all the threes? <laughs> Well, that's what we found. Three aspects of breakthrough teams that any group can practice to create world-class results. Of course, we had conducted some of the largest studies on breakthrough teams and employees and managers in North America and across the globe. And all the data showed us that building blocks of great companies and great teams. Here's what we discovered about breakthrough teams, or orange teams. Now, this happens among sports teams, business teams, political teams, military teams, even musical acts, inventors, you name it. Now first, breakthrough teams adhere to the basic four of leadership. That includes goal setting, communication, trust, and accountability. These are the staples of team leadership and management. And number two, they recognize each other. Our 10-year study of over 220,000 employees conducted for us by HealthStream Research shows that employees who are recognized perform at a higher level and are more loyal and have stronger teams and organizational profitability. Now, the basic four plus recognition is the lifeblood of great managers and team leaders. Now for you, this is where things get really fascinating. Breakthrough teams and all members follow the rule of three. Now, the rule of three is a set of three specific agreements that team members make to one another, which include wow, no surprises, and cheer. Well, wow, or wow. The standard performance of great teams is always world class, and the vision is always creating world class results. Now, no surprises. This is where all team members are accountable for openness, honest debate, and each knows what to expect from the others. Cheer. Probably my favorite. Team members support, recognize, appreciate, and cheer others and the group on to victory. Let's start with wow. <laughs> As you might imagine, breakthrough teams intentionally seek world-class results, or what we call wow. It's not luck that teams like Zappos.com, for instance, achieve success. To wow, breakthrough teams follow a regimented process. There are six strikingly similar traits. When you see them applied, you'll understand their impact. Now, just a few of the traits include dream. The ability to let your imagination run wild is critical. If your team can't dream about something bigger, better, and faster, you'll never be the world-class leader. Two, risk. All breakthrough teams take calculated risks. World-class results don't happen when teams play it safe. They want to create waves in their market space. The number three is to measure. Every breakthrough team understands its goals and measures itself along the path of reaching those goals. And four, they tell stories. The last trait that is shared by all breakthrough teams in this practice is that of storytelling. Reciting stories from within their own team and using the stories of other great teams to communicate their point. Next, let's talk about how great teams practice something we call no surprises. As we interviewed teams, we found that the importance of communication could not be understated. Imagine great teams like the U.S. Navy's Blue Angels. These guys move at mock speed. Poor communication could spell disaster. But surprises in any team can erode even the best intentions. Teams that practice no surprises, first, they acknowledge each other. They're aware of and value all the players. No role is too big, too small, too important, or not important enough. They create availability. Great teams make themselves available always to their peers. Three, they accept ideas freely. All the great ideas were, at one time, considered off the wall. <laughs> great teams understand that even bad ideas can lead to greater things. Great teams always respond. Now, the fear of no response is more terrifying than actually hearing the word no. And they create face-to-face -face time. Breakthrough teams gather regularly in person to discuss current responsibilities, struggles, successes, even fears. 
Now, number six, they broadcast deadlines, goals, and responsibilities. When all team members are aware of the objectives of their fellow members, well, players just perform better. Seven, they offer help, and they ask for help. Offering and asking for help opens honest dialogue, and it builds trust. Now, number eight is this. They learn from and talk about the best. Breakthrough teams challenge themselves and their teammates to find and study other great teams. Well, finally, there's cheer. It's a little inexpensive practice that breakthrough teams incorporate that accelerates teamwork beyond good to great. If you follow this one little secret, your ability to achieve as a team will change instantly. And cheer simply means team members support each other and they appreciate great work when they see it. But cheering isn't just rah-rah. Effective cheering, the kind that will push your team to new heights, includes some very specific criteria. The first rule of cheering is this, be positive. During a cheer, mention only the positive, not the transformation. Cheer immediately. The closer the recognition to the actual performance, the better. Now cheer closely. This means recognition and appreciation is best presented in a person's natural environment, in their work location, and among their peers. Most importantly, give details. Cheering for specific behaviors that reinforce the key values, goals, or interests will have the greatest impact on initiating repeat behaviors. And finally, share the experience. Sometimes the most meaningful cheering comes from peers, not from the big boss. And there it is, orangeification in a box. That's a great way to start turning your team into a breakthrough team. Now, team colors also help. <laughs> yeah, I told you I didn't buy these just because they were on sale. <laughs>